A good choice this in rough conditions as the sheltered bay means you can still fish. It's an even better bet for sheltered water than Norman's Bay. As with Norman's Bay, we're fishing a shallow sandy beach here with sole, place, flounders or viable targets. There's also been reports of plenty of smooth hounds in the right conditions. For consistent chances of really big smoothie in Sussex, you'd go west as far as you could get, but there's plenty of smaller ones caught in the bay. Schoolies and pout are commonly reported, with the occasional dogfish. You'll have worked out from all the footage of Pevensey and Normans Bay that we're on shallow grounds here. Let's take a quick look at the variations in depth, starting back in Cooden and finishing just before Sovereign Harbour at White Horses. To help decide to fish or not on the day, you can take advantage of the real-time wave buoy data in Pevensey Bay. For those who can't pop their head out the window and take a look at the sea, this will tell you how choppy it is. You can trend the data and see if the sea is building or if the chop is falling out. Looking to our right is the breakwater for Sovereign Harbour, but before that, white horses. <laughs> Just before we reach Eastbourne at Langney Point where there's more tide and deeper water, the last mark in the bay is White Horses, named after the house you park alongside. Off the A259, down Old Martello Road, through the camping site to the end, turn right, White Horses is up ahead. Fishing wise it's the same species as Pevensey to one side and Eastbourne to the other, with a bit of shelter coming from the flats behind for the wind and Sovereign Harbour breakwater for the tide. Eastbourne now with a range of fishing including a point, a pier, shallow flat sand and rocky ground towards Beachy Head. <laughs> 